Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to another episode of Pat Taste Performance. Today in the driveway, you're going to tackle this Toro Recycler, powered by my least favorite engine of all time, the Kohler 149cc, it's like XPT or something? Garbage. Anyhow, this ends up in the driveway. This is actually a emergency repair. We like emergency repairs because that means more than usual. So with that being said, let's get this going. It is here for the self-propelled cable um, broke. So I have one uh, from another machine and we're just gonna put that in. This repair is very simple. <coughs> the eBay affiliate link for this cable will be in the description as well as the uh, part number and the model number, okay? That's how you support the channel. eBay affiliate links, subscribing, like, sharing, commenting. No PayPal, no Amazon wishlist, no nothing. I want you guys to always take care of yourself. All right? So anyway, let's go over the tools that we're gonna need for today. I'm gonna be using an Impact, my Milwaukee M1238 fuel. Anything will work. The most important part is you're going to need 716 socket, 38 socket, small extension, and needle nose pliers. Let's go see where this thing is broke. Broke it in. Broken. Not work. Alright, so as you guys can see, the cable on the bottom is broke. Top cables for tail control. Self propelled. This is what it should look like. Alright, so this particular model Toro, not the one I took this cable off of, you don't need the 716th. We just need to turn this out. Remember, lefty loosey, righty tidy. This has to come all the way out. Okay, stick that in our pocket. Okay, this cable, just pull this through. And the string up and out. We are done with that end. Remember, we're gonna start at the top first only because we're here. And then remember, this was on the outside. So let's do the, the same thing. Remember, we take this first. This is nice and skinny. And then we will work it through. Fantastic. We will put our knob in. We're going to leave this loose because let's adjust it once we get in there. Okay, this cable, right, we're going to follow the old one. It goes right to the front of the lawnmower. So let's follow this down right through this loop here. under and hang it right there. Now we're going to have to turn the lawnmower on its side. Okay, remember, muffler side facing you up to the sky, air filter side down on the ground. No. Up. Now we're going to expose the bolts to remove the cover. All right, so since we have it on its side, we can access these two 3 8 bolts. One is right here, 
And then we have another one right up top, right over there. Nice and easy. When it comes out, set that aside. Then we're going to do the top. And the cover comes right off. Now check out this mess. Check out this mess. This over here is extremely overlooked by almost everybody. All this buildup underneath the belt cover. When you tune up a self-propelled lawnmower, you should be pulling this cover and cleaning out the debris. Anyway, we're gonna get, get a needle nose. See these two tits? Squeeze them and pull through. Slide this out to the side. Okay. And then we also have a good look at the spring. This spring comes right here. And we can just push in and out. We are free. This here, I don't like to bolt this in until I know the hook has been cinched. And there we are. And don't forget, we didn't hook it up top yet. So let's, let's do that. Well, let's not do that. That'll be the last. Because this will never come out. Let's just clean this. Oh, wow. I didn't fire up my compressor. All right, let me, let me fire up my compressor and clean this all out. All right, so just after a quick blow job, feeling nice. Anyway, so let's get this cover back on. We are going to tilt the muffler side down again. And we're gonna have to put this cover back on. It's quite simple. So, the reason why you don't want grass built up in there is number is really one particular reason. Look what's in there. That's your pulley and your belt. You don't want to blow out your belt because all this grass is stuck in there. So like I said, very overlooked. Now I have spoken to quite a few people about this. They actually charge extra when they do a tune-up on one mower for this. And I get it, and I get it. Uh, I don't. I don't. Maybe I should. All right, now let's get it on its side and we're gonna start adjusting the cable. Okay, so we're up here. Let's hook this in. Come on. Like so. Okay, and what we want to do now is just pull this till we have tension. Don't make it too tight. Just tight enough. See that? Nice and easy. Put it in there. And you can squeeze this. You could feel, you could just feel this. You see how it returns? You know we're good. Let's verify the repair. All right, let's give it a pull. Three, two, one, engage it. All right, guys, winner, winner, chicken dinner, nice and easy. This machine, three tools, four tools if you want to include the ratchet, right? If you needed the 7 16 for this, by all means, go for it. Very simple, something you can do at home, something you can do in the field if you wanted to. But uh, yeah, that's it. Nice and easy. We like that, Mr. Easy Money. 
All right, guys, if you guys found this video helpful, smash the like button, smash the subscribe button. Guess what? I'll see you guys on the next episode of Pat Teach Performance. And don't forget the Mrs. and I, we go live every Saturday, 8 a.m. to 9 a.m. Eastern Time. Later.